Hello students, today we are discussing with uh, quantum theory, okay, of uh, atomic structure. This is meant to be, this is the sixth video, I think so, okay. So you can understand this is the most important topic which I am teaching you today. Very, very important topic, okay. It matters a lot when you understand this part over here. Today there is a half part, next part will be again half. I think so in three classes we will be able to finish up this part of this quantum theory is so a very very important detail and you got lots and lots of concepts discussed in this particular part so don't take it easy okay and try to see the videos which i am trying to post over here because it matters a lot when i am teaching you so much of uh, so much of things over here it was a it's a virtual class undoubtedly but still we can't help it out because the present scenario is for the virtual class itself okay but when we go for a particular live classes over here so we'll be able to get to know about a perfect knowledge of all these things over here. But this is very, very important. Remember, it has got lots and lots of significance for the upcoming examinations. At the same time, you have to go for writing out the whole procedure on this basis only up to 12th standard end or what to say. It will be up to, if you are doing MSc in chemistry also, it will be applicable. So quantum theory, we are starting. Okay. So what do you mean by quanta? First, let us discuss what you mean by quanta. Now, see, if I want to hit somebody, the most powerful thing I get is from the fist. I just go for making a fist like this and try hitting out. So, hitting is that is what the most powerful functions over here are not. So, what do you mean by quanta? A small packet of energy. The packet of energy is over here. Is called a quanta. A small packet of energy. of energy is called a quanta okay small packet of energy is called a quanta so when you talk about a quanta a very very small packet of energy is called a quanta that packet of energy has got immense power to this has got immense power to hit anybody so you can understand that's quanta so once you have a quanta to be discussed over here similarly there is like a photon also Okay, when you specify photon, that means we are specifying into the case of what? Light energy. A small packet of light energy, of light energy, is called photon. So, we differentiate the whole thing into two parts over here. That is a small packet of energy is called a quanta, whereas a small packet of light energy is called a photon. Okay. Photon is a small packet of light energy, whereas photon is a, quanta is a small packet of energy over here. That is what a basic difference is between the two. Okay. Now, the most important thing, this is a quanta means to you. Now, most important thing is a quantum number. Okay. Quantum number. Quantum number is what? It is a designation of electron. Designation of electron in the various energy level energy level means what orbit is called quantum number okay now designation of electrons in the various energy level is called quantum number matters a lot designation now see i just want to ask i just give an example of mine okay i'm teaching in seven school and one college okay say for example if i'm teaching okay as i do seven school and one college say in kps i visit from 7 22 8 35 or 40 i will be there okay so if i am over there up to this level so anybody who wants to meet me at that particular time will be from 7.40 to 8.40. Once I finish off, then I will go to St. Mary's for teaching. Okay. So that is, once I go from St. Mary's, okay, that is around 8.55, I have got a class. Okay. So I go over there. I start teaching. So if, if that person misses me in KPS, will be able to find me in St. Mary's, but in a different location. Okay. 
दैट मीन्स डिफरेंट लोकेशन मतलब डिफरेंट ऑर्बिट एनर्जी इज डिफरेंट ऑन इफ दैट पर्सन डज नॉट कम अप टू नाइन थर्टी फाइव देन हैव टू गो टू टेगोर एंड सो ऑन इन डीवीएमएस एंड ऑल ओके सो दीज आर ऑल क्या द प्रोपोजिशन वेर आई विल बी एबल टू फाइंड सो डेजिग्नेशन मीन्स वॉट द पोजिशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन द वेरियस एनर्जी लेवल पोजिशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन द वेरियस एनर्जी लेवल सो इफ समबडी वॉन्ट्स टू डिटेक्ट मी इन द होल वर्ल्ड से फॉर एग्जाम्पल If I want to be detected in a one whole world, so how? Say I am to be detected in one whole world over here. So where I will be detected? First and foremost thing, they will focus in India. Second, they will focus in Jharkhand. Third is focus in Jamshedpur. And the fourth is focus on the platform of where I am plus position at that particular time. So my time is what all being positioned. My 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 position is depending upon the cap, the time limits in the whole twenty four hours. I am not stagnant. I am always moving from one place to another. Same is the case with the electrons also. So this is what dependent upon the dependent upon. the time position of me mine dependent upon the time this all four are correlated to me and correlated to quantum numbers okay so that is why so that means you have understood or not to me means i have to be found out in india then i have to be found out in jharkhand then india in jharkhand then in jamshedpur then in position okay so so many things have to be done or not to me so that is why quantum numbers are divided into four parts so here to designation kaise hua samajh mein aaya aapko that is position of electron in the various energy level quantum numbers are divided into four parts over here principal quantum number number 2 azimuthal quantum number number 3 magnetic quantum number magnetic quantum number and number 4 is spin quantum number okay so we have differentiated the quantum numbers into four parts principal quantum number azimuthal quantum number magnetic quantum number and spin quantum number spin quantum number so this is what we have to present from the next class onwards so next class becomes very important for you thank you